Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Norik Shikata, uh, Deputy Cabinet Secretary for Public Affairs at the Prime Minister's Office. And uh, uh, next to me is uh, Mr. Mas Masaru Sato, Assistant Press Secretary of uh, uh, Foreign Ministry. Um, today we are uh, briefing you uh, on the subject of uh, the launch of uh, missile uh, by North Korea this morning. And uh, uh, both of us have uh, initial uh, remarks and uh, uh, after uh, two initial rem remarks, we'll open the, the floor for questions uh, and, and answers. Uh, as uh, you are aware, at, at um, around 7.40 uh, this morning, uh, North Korea launched uh, uh, some kind of flying object, uh, and uh, uh, that the fly flying object uh, flew about uh, a little over one minute and fell into the ocean. Uh, we have uh, been collecting uh, relevant information, and uh, uh, we uh, made a, a judgment uh, that the, the flying object is uh, uh, a missile, uh, although uh, North Korea has been calling it a, a satellite. Um, also, we have not received any information which uh, indicates uh, any uh, kind of damage uh, on the territory of Japan or the Japanese people. And on this uh, uh, launch, uh, our pers perspective uh, is as follows. Uh, uh, Japan, uh, in close uh, collaboration with uh, other countries, uh, we have been strongly urging uh, North Korea uh, to exercise restraint uh, over this launch. And uh, uh, we regard uh, this uh, launch, uh, uh, despite our efforts, is a grave uh, provocation uh, from uh, the Japanese security point of view, as well as uh, uh, the security of, of uh, Korean Peninsula, uh, Northeast Asia, and beyond. And uh, uh, this undermines, uh, this launch undermines the peace and stability uh, of the region. And uh, uh, we are of the view uh, that uh, this launch is a violation of uh, relevant uh, UN Security uh, Council res resolutions, uh, which uh, requires North Korea not to conduct any launch uh, using uh, ballistic missile technology. And also, uh, from our viewpoint, um, uh, it violates uh, Japan-North Korea Pyongyang Declaration, and, uh, and also it's against the spirit of joint declaration of the six-party six talks uh, of uh, September 2005. And so from these uh, standpoints, uh, we, uh, from our viewpoint, the launch is in trouble uh, to Japan, and uh, Japan strongly protests uh, against uh, North Korea and communicated uh, this uh, uh, sense of uh, protest uh, through our diplomatic channels. So uh, uh, going uh, uh, forward, uh, the Japanese government urges uh, North Korea uh, to immediately and fully implement uh, all relevant uh, UN Security uh, Council resolutions. And as uh, will be uh, explained by Mr. Sato later, we have been uh, communicating with uh, uh, the U.S. government, uh, who is uh, chair of the uh, UN Security Council uh, this uh, month, and uh, we are requesting uh, uh, convening of uh, emergency UN Security Council resolution, uh, UN Security Council meeting. Um, and the Prime Minister Noda has been instructing uh, our ministers concerned uh, to conduct uh, further information gathering and investigation and, and also make every effort to provide the public uh, with uh, relevant information. And, uh, uh, in, in light of the fact that uh, this is a clear uh, violation of uh, UN Security Re uh, Council resolutions, uh, we will strengthen uh, collaboration mm -hmm. and communication uh, with uh, the, uh, the countries concerned, including the United States, Republic of Korea, China, uh, and, and Russia, among others. And uh, uh, as I mentioned, uh, we, we are expecting uh, United Nations Security Council uh, to take uh, appropriate measures uh, based on what has uh, uh, happened. Uh, and uh, uh, at the same time, uh, to our people in Japan, uh, we are uh, asking our citizens to, to continue on with their normal lives and activities as usual. So this is um, uh, basically the gist of uh, 
statement uh, by uh, Chief Cabinet Secretary uh, Fujimura, which was issued uh, earlier today. And uh, I'll just stop here and ask uh, Mr. Sato uh, to go next. From, uh, I would like to share uh, some remarks that, uh, that were made uh, just a while ago at the Foreign Ministry by the Parliamentary Vice Minister for Foreign Affairs, Mr. Ryuji Yamane, uh, because the press conference was conducted in Japanese, so I thought that it might be uh, helpful for you to uh, share uh, this. So uh, the remark uh, begins, although the launch this time appears to have failed, uh, falling into the ocean, the launch itself uh, undermines the peace and stability of the region, including Japan. And the launch also violates a series of uh, United Nations Security Council resolutions, including uh, 1695, 1718, uh, 1874, especially the last one, uh, which prohibits any launch using ballistic missile technology. Therefore, Japan has been uh, strongly demanding and North Korea to exercise uh, self-restraint and not to conduct a launch. But uh, it is very regrettable that uh, uh, despite all these efforts, uh, North Korea forcibly conducted the launch and we strongly deplored it. We launched already our protest with uh, North Korea immediately after the launch through our embassy in Beijing. And in response to the uh, development, uh, Japan will take further action in coordination with other countries, namely the United States, Republic of Korea, China, and Russia. And uh, let me share uh, some uh, of activities our foreign uh, ministry leaders have been doing after the uh, launch. Uh, Senior Vice Minister Yamane had a telephone com a conference with Ambassador Ruth of the United States this morning. Ambassador expressed his appreciation for, of the uh, smooth coordination between the two countries, Japan and the United States, since around the launch. And uh, he, as uh, a senior vice minister, explained Japan's position on our future response and uh, confirmed that uh, uh, the two countries will continue to closely coordinate our action. And also, the foreign minister Gemba is now, uh, after finishing his part, uh, meeting at the uh, G8 foreign ministerial meetings in Washington, D.C., he is on the way back. Actually, uh, he is now in Los Angeles, laying over. And uh, Foreign Minister Gemba had also been closely exchanging views with uh, relevant countries until uh, Thursday 12th, yesterday. And after arriving at Los Angeles Airport, he's trying to have a conversation with his counterparts. And I uh, confirmed that uh, he had a telephone conversation with Republic of Korea, uh, his counterpart, uh, Kim Song fang And uh, with regard to the response at the United Nations Security Council, uh, in reaction to the launch, our ambassador, permanent representative to the United Nations, Mr. Nishida, sent a letter requesting uh, United States, which is the current chair of the US Security UN, UN Security Council, and uh, to uh, convene the uh, 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 United Nations Security Council meeting. I understand that the, uh, this evening, Japan time, approximately at 11 p.m., uh, 10 a.m. on Friday, on Eastern Time of the United States, there will be a, a meeting. Lastly, Japan will co continue to work on the United S work uh, with the United States, with which is the U.S. UN Security Council chair, and other relevant countries, so that the UN Security Council will take appropriate uh, action in, in uh, after the uh, following the, this launch and uh, which is the clear violation of the relevant UN Security Council resolutions. And we, uh, uh, Japan and the United States, will further promote coordination with other relevant countries, uh, including Republic of Korea, China, and Russia, and the global community. Thank you. Okay. Now uh, we will open the floor for questions. And uh, when you ask a question, please uh, identify yourself as Haru. Thank you for this opportunity. Uh, my name is Khaldun Azhari, Pan Orient News. I have a question for you and for Mr. Saito. First, how did Japan judge the, it, uh, this flying object is a missile, not a satellite, a rocket? 
and why it undermines the security and stability and peace in this region. And for Mr. Uh, Saito, uh, could you please tell us what countries are allowed to develop uh, ballistic missiles technology and uh, why? Thank you. Um, after uh, this morning's uh, launch, um, as I mentioned, uh, uh, initially uh, we were uh, calling uh, the situation as uh, the launch of a flying object. And um, uh, we have uh, been gathering uh, information, exchanging information with our uh, international partners, uh, such as the, the United States, and uh, came to uh, view uh, that th uh, this uh, is, uh, in, in fact, a missile. And um, uh, so this is uh, based on the different uh, various information uh, that uh, we have uh, uh, gathered and uh, uh, analyzed. And um, uh, as related to the issue of um, uh, you know, why it is uh, a s you know, source of concerns, as was explained by uh, Mr. Sato, uh, there has al already been um, United Nations Security Council resolutions, uh, which uh, uh, basically uh, uh, says, you know, demands that the no DPRK not conduct any further nuclear test or any launch using ballistic missile technology. So uh, this is a United Nations Security Council resolutions and uh, uh, we have been urging North Korea uh, not to exercise uh, this launch, but in spite of that, uh, uh, they went ahead and conducted you know, this launch. And uh, we are uh, of the view you know, that uh, this uh, uh, the, the act of uh, provocation uh, could uh, uh, lead to uh, uh, damaging uh, the stability of Korean, Korean Peninsula and, and, and security of uh, Northeast Asia and beyond. Okay, and the last uh, uh, question, part of your questions, I, uh, uh, we, you know, our perspective is that uh, every country has its own right to self-defense and uh, but uh, there are also international rules that govern uh, the exercise of, you know, uh, you know, defense policies. So, uh, in the case of the North Korea, in the past, uh, they have uh, bad records of uh, launching uh, missiles and also they're conducting te uh, nuclear uh, testings. And uh, there, as a result, there were a series of uh, inter uh, United Nations Security Council resolutions, which prohibit uh, any uh, launch. Uh, utilizing uh, ballistic missile technologies. So uh, North Korea is a country uh, which is banned from uh, uh, launching uh, 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 using the uh, ballistic missile technology. Next question, Yamamoto. This morning, the finance minister mentioned that um, additional sanctions will be considered uh, after this this test. Uh, is there anything specific that's being on on the table? Mm -hmm. um, Japan has already um, prohibited exports, imports, um, any ships entering uh, Japan. Is there anything more that Japan can do? And also, um, there's been a lot of talk about a possible nuclear test that the North Koreans might conduct. Is there any actions that mm -hmm. Japan is considering to prevent? prohibit that? Thank you. Okay. Um, as for the, your first question about uh, uh, possible you know, additional sanction, uh, as uh, you are aware, uh, Japan, the Japanese government has been already implementing uh, the, the measures, uh, sanctions measures against uh, North Korea. And uh, uh, recently we have uh, decided to extend uh, uh, the existing sanctions uh, by one year uh, from uh, mid-April uh, during the next uh, one year. Um, as for um, uh, the your question of additional uh, sanctions, um, based on what has happened uh, this morning, uh, we are uh, consulting uh, with uh, other countries concerned, including the United States, uh, South Korea, China, Russia, among others. And, and also, uh, uh, as we have explained, we are bringing uh, this issue to United Nations uh, Security Council's attention. So based on uh, the discussions uh, that will be uh, taking place, uh, we, we are going to make uh, 
uh, our own uh, judgment as to you know, what is uh, uh, the appropriate measures to take. So um, just uh, answering your uh, questions directly, uh, at this point of time, we have not uh, come up with a definitive uh, uh, sanctions measures uh, in, in terms of additional uh, nature. And uh, oh okay, uh, as for the second question, um, we we are aware um, that uh, you know there there have been say already reports you know that uh, uh, North Korea may be uh, preparing itself uh, for uh, uh, you know the uh, I guess the third uh, nuclear uh, weapons testing, and uh, uh, of course you know it is. Uh, uh, difficult, you know, to uh, come up with a judgmental uh, uh, viewpoints regarding uh, the situation uh, of a nuclear weapons uh, uh, program in North Korea, given its uh, closed, uh, very extremely closed uh, uh, society. Uh, we have uh, uh, noticed, for example, in the past, uh, when uh, uh, North Korea uh, conducted uh, uh, missile uh, tests. You know, there were uh, the following the nuclear um, uh, pro uh, nuclear weapons uh, uh, experiments, and uh, uh, we are uh, vigilant and uh, attentive to uh, what's uh, uh, what's happening in North Korea and uh, what uh, what the next uh, steps uh, may may be or may not be taken. Okay, yeah. Your Dickey Financial Times. A why did Japan make so much of a fuss about the uh, supposed dangers of this launch to its citizens? Uh, I think it, it seems that, I mean, it practically speaking, the risk seems to have been supposed to have come from a, a, an accident or a mistake, but every expert that I talk to says that the actual hazard to any individual citizen of Japan would be minuscule, be much more likely to be hit by lightning. Mm -hmm. So wha why did Japan make such a fuss? Mm -hmm. um, I don't think you know, uh, the characterization uh, of uh, our response as a fuss is uh, um, kind of appropriate. Um, what uh, we have been uh, telling uh, from uh, uh, the government to the public to, to the people living in Japan uh, is that uh, uh, people do not you know, need to be excessively uh, cautious. I mean, people can lead a normal life. And, uh, but we have been preparing ourselves you know, for different contingencies. And this is uh, in light of the fact uh, that uh, this uh, uh, missile launch is uh, directed uh, to uh, the vicinity uh, of uh, territory, and uh, I I it is uh, 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 it could be the case uh, that debris uh, uh, could be you know falling into the Japanese ter territory. So uh, if uh, maybe uh, that kind of uh, missile launch uh, is coming to the uh, the vicinity of uh, uh, other countries, I think you know that uh, it is uh, it could be the case that other countries would uh, react uh, in a similar uh, way. But uh, uh, le let me just you know, uh, emphasize you know, that we have been taking precautionary measures uh, and um, uh, we have not uh, trying uh, try to you know, raise uh, uh, the, the kind of wariness among the people you know, uh, to the extent you know, that uh, may not be productive. Kiko Fujita with ABC News. Um, there's been a lot of criticism about the way the Japanese government responded to the launch today. Um, why did it take so long to get the word out to the public um, through the emergency system? And will there be a review, or is there anything being done to make sure something like this doesn't happen? I guess that uh, you are referring to uh, the use of uh, uh, EM uh, net, uh, and uh, this uh, is a system uh, to uh, disseminate information uh, of uh, uh, this uh, uh, launch uh, from uh, uh, North Korea. You know, this, this system, information system, is uh, being used uh, for this purpose uh, today. And uh, uh, 
uh, one issue uh, that has been uh, raised uh, is uh, uh, why uh, it took us uh, some time. You know, uh, when uh, actual launch uh, was taking place, uh, it was we, we have not uh, made it public uh, in terms of uh, uh, this uh, early warning, you know, satellite information uh, shared uh, from the United States. Uh, what uh, we have been uh, doing uh, is that uh, you know, we received uh, uh, this uh, uh, early warning satellite information around uh, 7.40 uh, a.m. And, uh, uh, and there, there was, uh, uh, as uh, Ms. Mr. Fujimura, Chief Cabinet Secretary, has been saying in terms of checking from other sources, uh, because there, there was a possibility of... Uh, the missile launch, or there could be a possibility of, for, for example, you know, short, uh, short range uh, missile, or uh, there could be a possibility of um, uh, burning uh, of uh, certain objects. You know, it's, uh, it could be experiment. So uh, uh, we were um, uh, verifying uh, the information we, uh, our uh, authorities have received, uh, and at the same time, uh, we uh, we knew uh, that you know this uh, flying object uh, was not uh, arriving uh, uh, near the territory of uh, uh, the Japanese territory. So you know we made a judgment that uh, it's not posing uh, uh, the, the tangible uh, threat uh, to to Japan in terms of uh, because of probably the uh, as a hindsight you know, failure of uh, uh, this launch. Other questions? Michael? Uh, Malcolm Foster, the AP. I think it's a little bit related to the uh, nuclear um, question about whether you uh, concerns about North Korea developing or testing nuclear devices. Um, I believe Japan has kind of dismissed the idea that this is a satellite launch, that it's really a missile test. Is is do you see this as kind of a, another step towards North Korea trying to develop a, a nuclear missile and do you see any evidence that that is the way that uh, North Korea is m is moving uh, you know we are uh, t talking more generally you know about uh, the missile technologies or, or ballistic missile technologies and launching you know capabilities and of course you know as you mentioned you know there there could be combination of uh, various you know technologies and uh, uh, we are uh, very much concerned, you know, both about uh, North Korea's uh, nuclear weapons program and missile program uh, as well. And it is obvious that uh, North Korea's uh, nu nuclear uh, weapons program uh, could cause uh, grave, you know, impact uh, on uh, regional security, including Japan. And uh, uh, this is a grave uh, problems uh, for the international society, you know, from the viewpoint of. Uh, possibility of uh, proliferation of uh, mass weapons destruction. So, uh, uh, so this is, you know, uh, how, you know, we see, see the situation. We have the Prime Minister's Hanami party tomorrow morning as planned. Uh, I don't think, you know, there, there was, uh, uh, as you mentioned, you know, cher cherry blossom, you know, viewings, and, and that uh, uh, the occasion was uh, cancelled, you know, much earlier, yeah, when uh, there was announcement and so forth, yeah. Oh, so you're talking about resumption? Resumption. Ah, I see. <laughs> ah, I see, okay, but uh, it's a bit difficult, you know, to, to organize it, you know, from, uh, from now, yeah. Thank you, Azhari, again, Panoramic News. Uh, you said you are planning to apply possibly new sanctions and maybe more uh, measures against North Korea, but we know already you almost use all what in Japan's hand to pressure that country at no result because they already launching another missile or whatever today, and they, some people talk about another nuclear test. So that means the sanction system doesn't seem to be working, 
while Japan is going on the aggressive and offensive against North Korea. And if we notice, uh, they were kind of transparent uh, by inviting many journalists, international journalists, to their site, and they were reporting live today from Pyongyang. This is kind of unprecedented. And also, North Korea admitted it was, uh, the, the missile was, the launch was failed, or it failed. Uh, and this is also seems to be unprecedented in North Korean's behavior. So don't you think Japan should go into the diplomatic approach on a friendly way with North Korea, country to country, rather, and continuing this uh, offensive and attack against that country. Thank you. Actually, uh, frankly speaking, I, I don't get your point about uh, uh, you know we are going offensive or aggressive. Uh, we, uh, of course, uh, uh, we are uh, of the view that you know we prefer you know diplomatic engagements. Uh, and uh, cons you know, bu building uh, constructive uh, relations uh, with uh, North Korea. But you know, what's uh, been happening is uh, uh, there have been you know, re repeated acts of uh, provocations uh, on the side of North Korea, and uh, we are very much disappointed you know, at uh, today's uh, development. Uh, our view is that uh, you know, by addressing you know, all those issues of concern surrounding North Korea, including uh, uh, nuclear uh, missile you know, programs uh, and for, for Japan, you know, abduction issues. We wish to you know, see at one, you know, uh, one day in the future normalizing relations with uh, North Korea. But uh, uh, it is uh, regrettable to see you know, that, that this, uh, uh, there, there is an act uh, of uh, propagations, you know, as I mentioned. And in terms of transparency, I, I don't know, you know what uh, your colleagues uh, who are you know, staying in Pyongyang will say about you know, this uh, transparency. Hi, this is a question for Mr. Sato. Um, has Mr. Gemba spoken to the U.S. Uh, Secretary of State Clinton after the, uh, the test today? And if so, can you share what, what kind of discussions that was um, <laughs> held between Japan and the United States? Uh, yes, actually, he, was in, uh, he is now in Los Angeles, but uh, he has already uh, had a telephone conversation with uh, Kim, uh, Kim Song Fang. And uh, he's trying to reach China and Russia, but uh, because of the time difference and everything, uh, it's pretty difficult to logistically. But uh, with regard to Secretary Clinton, uh, he and uh, Secretary Clinton had a, uh, bilateral talks before the start of the uh, foreign minister's meeting in Washington. So, and uh, we very closely coordinate uh, our positions with each other. And uh, that's why, uh, the United States could uh, issue a uh, 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 chair's statement after the, uh, uh, the meeting was over. And uh, 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 moreover, uh, even during the uh, G8 foreign ministerial meetings, uh, Foreign Minister Gemba uh, coordinated with uh, Clinton uh, about uh, uh, possible issuance of the uh, uh urgent uh, message coming out of the uh, G8 foreign ministers. In the case that the North Korea actually goes ahead and they uh, launch the missile. <coughs> so that is, uh, as a result, actually the, uh, the G8 uh, urgent message was also uh, issued in addition to chair's uh, uh, regular chair's statement. So US and the Japan have been uh, very closely coordinating with, uh, uh, so that we can, the global committee can uh, appropriately respond to the issue, to, you know, following the launch. But uh, after that meeting, uh, he hasn't uh, had a, you know, he didn't uh, try to reach her because uh, there is a uh, much common ground between the two uh, principles about, and they have already discussed deeply, so there is no additional, you know, uh, input uh, each, each principle needs to respond to the uh, situation because we have already discussed uh, this eventuality beforehand. Uh, just uh, to supplement you know, what Mr. Sato said, you know, you, uh, there, there was a G8 foreign minister's uh, statement you know, being issued. And, uh, uh, and actually, you know, many of the points uh, that we made at this press conference 
are in this uh, G8 foreign, foreign minister statement, you know, uh, which is agreed among G8 foreign ministers, which include G8 foreign ministers condemned the launch by North Korea, which is a violation of UN Security Council resolutions, a and also sharing the view that the launch undermines regional peace and stability. Um, the G8 mi foreign ministers called on North Korea to abstain you know, from uh, further launches using ballistic missile technology or other actions. <coughs> and also calling for uh, appropriate responses, a response by UN uh, Security Council. Uh, and also um, uh, calling for uh, abandoning, abandoning all its nuclear weapons and existing uh, nuclear and ballistic missile programs in a complete, verifiable, and reversible manner. So, so all those uh, I elements are uh, included and agreed, up, uh, agreed upon uh, among uh, G8 foreign ministers. Okay, if uh, there are no other questions, we'd like to uh, close. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you.